Welcome back to the channel everyone if you're new I'm Megan Remedy and you are watching a new what I eat in a day video now I'm still gonna be titling these healing from a vegan diet because even though I feel almost 100% better I am still healing from a vegan diet because I did a lot of metabolic damage and I talked about this in my last video because I've gained about 20 pounds which I did need to gain weight. I was not a healthy weight on the vegan diet. I was definitely underweight for my frame and my body type. But um, now I'm starting to get a little bit too much body fat and I want to dial that back. Um, and so I have been researching more about healing my metabolism. And I have been uh, listening to Matt Blackburn. He is... A wealth of knowledge and I really like his podcast so go check out his podcast it was called divine superconductor radio but I think he just changed it to mito life TV um, if you haven't watched the interview with Matt I'll link that below he was an ex vegan as well and then on that video you'll be able to find his podcast and he talks about these topics that I'm about to talk about a lot and I'm finding it extremely interesting right now because it's kind of tying in the pieces of the puzzle to why veganism didn't work for me, um, why I got the certain health issues that I did, and it's allowing me to also help my clients heal from the vegan damage that they did to themselves. So this is my favorite book right now. Um, and on that note about my clients, I'm really excited and in a good mood today because I just checked in with my clients and they are all seeing vast improvements. So that's super exciting for me. This is the reason why I started YouTube. This is the reason why I speak out about these things and these issues. Um, and the dangers of a vegan diet is because of people who are out there suffering just like I was. And if I can make a difference to just a few people, then all of the negative comments and hate is definitely worth it. Um, I hope that regular people, even if you're vegan or not out there watching, would give my content a chance and understand that I'm not some radical anti-vegan like we see on a lot of these channels right now. I don't agree with a lot of the things that some of the anti-vegans say or do. I don't think that it's the right approach. And I would like to give a little bit more of a level-headed response or a level-headed image to ex-vegans um, because it's a, it's a little bit crazy right now so um, back to healing my metabolism so I am reading a book right now called how to heal your metabolism by Kate Daring and I'm obsessed with it it's a wealth of information and it's written pretty easy to understand Maybe if you don't have a background in any kind of biology or science or nutrition, you won't understand it and you'll have to do more um, base knowledge to understand it. But for the most part, it's very easy to understand and digest um, if you just have a basic knowledge of the human body. So I'm really enjoying that right now. I'm not even halfway through the book and there's so many things that I would like to talk to you guys about. 
Um, and I did get a few requests to do a how to lose weight videos and heal your metabolism. So those will be coming in the near future. And keep in mind that these what I eat in a day videos will help you as well because as I am working on healing my metabolism from a vegan diet, you can join along with me and heal your metabolism. Um, but my point in my last what I eat in a day video was I'm not concerned about the weight that I've gained because I understand that it is um, a necessary part of the process of healing my metabolism. I did damage to myself being on a vegan diet so I can't get upset at the process of healing and what is involved in the process of healing. Um, I just know that I'm on the right track and it's going to happen. So um, one of the topics in the book that I find really interesting because if you have taken any nutrition class. Um, university, college, they will teach you that omega-3 and omega-6 are essential fatty acids. Um, and this book is pretty much saying, as far as I've gotten in the book, that they're not essential, they're actually very toxic, um, and it's one of the reasons why a vegan diet fails. Um, because it's very high in PUFAs, polyunsaturated fatty acids and these are not essential so the book is saying that you can make if the body needs omega-3 and 6 you make it from omega-9 so there's something called mead acid and what happens is the body takes saturated fat and sugar and makes mead acid which is omega-9 and that is your essential fatty acid if the body needs it and this omega-9, this meat acid, is a lot more anti-inflammatory than um, omega-3 and 6. And the results that people get from omega-3 and 6 is because it temporarily suppresses the immune system. And so it's like an immune suppressant drug almost. And that's why people get results from it short term. But long term, um, they're seeing issues like like lipofuscin, which is the sunspots and the pigment on your skin. And I have some of that uh, pigmentation. My skin's a little red right now because I just got out of the shower. Um, but I do have a few sunspots uh, on my face and on my chest that I know is from lipofus that I know is lipofuscin and I know that it's from a vegan diet because I never had those sunspots before and I started getting them on a vegan diet a lot. And then when I changed my diet and started eating a lot more saturated fat, the sunspots started going away. So I still have some progress to do, but it's very exciting that I know exactly where these sunspots are coming from and how to get rid of them um, naturally. And besides the superficial of the sunspots, it's causing a lot more damage um, down in your tissue from these PUFAs. So essentially the book is teaching you to not be afraid of carbohydrates. There are good and bad carbohydrates and it's not the carbohydrates that most people think are good. It's definitely not the um, grains, the legumes, things like that. Um, they contain PUFA and anti-nutrients, things of that such that are just not great for digestion. Um, so I'm going to be talking more about what this book is saying in future videos. I'm going to structure the videos a little bit more so they're easy for people to find and follow. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that that is what I am currently working on. And there's a lot of little tidbits of information in there that explain a lot of the symptoms that ex-vegans had. So I'll also be talking about that in future videos. So my what I eat in a day videos are pretty much going to be working on healing my metabolism now from the vegan diet. So my what I eat in a day videos when I had just quit veganism were pretty much carnivore, 100% animal based because I could not handle any plant foods. I couldn't handle carbs. I couldn't handle sugar. My body was protesting and was just screaming for animal foods. And so that's what I did. I always encourage people to listen to their body 
and um, that's what essentially I was doing. Probably about 90% 90, 90 to 95% animal based at the beginning and then I slowly added in a few more plants and things like that as I started feeling better. Now I kept some carbohydrates in the diet the whole time. I had honey and I had milk. So I think that that really helped me overcome my um, my metabolism issues now that I'm reading this book. And I was just doing that intuitively, but as I read this book and put more of the pieces of the puzzle together, um, I realize that it's probably a good idea to listen to your body most of the time because um, that definitely helped me. But with that being said, if you come from a background of overeating and food addiction and processed foods and things of that nature, and you really haven't been in tune with your body, it's very hard to eat intuitively coming from that type of background. So eating intuitively is kind of a luxury of years of being in tune with your body and paying attention to things and knowing what certain signs and symptoms are definitely my education my background helps me decipher what's going on and that's essentially what I do with my clients is I teach them how to listen to their body what symptom means what and um, because everything doesn't work for everyone I always say that so you have to understand how to guide your own body to health based on what's going on everyone has different needs, slightly different needs, based on stress and calorie needs, um, environment, season, what they're currently going through, certain issues they have, and so that's why I think a customized protocol is always the way to go, and that is what I do for my clients. So if you're interested in coaching, you can check out my website. Or you can email me at info at um, because this is my passion. I really love helping people and waking up in the morning to emails like that from people telling me that they're feeling so much better, their skin is clearing, and things like that. So, now I am filming this intro the day after. So what I eat in a day was yesterday, filming the intro now. All I've had so far is milk, big glass of milk with honey in it because I am getting ready to go to the Hamptons with my boyfriend for a barbecue. So just wanted to film the intro quick and put the video out there for you guys because you have requested more what I eat in a day. So I feel like I'm rambling but we're going to get into the video now. Thank you guys so much who are always commenting, especially the first commenters, people who truly support me. I really appreciate that. And shout out to the person who told me to look in the camera because I didn't even realize that I was doing that. So I hope it's more personal now that I'm looking in the camera. So enjoy this, what I eat in a day, healing from a vegan diet, and healing my metabolism from a vegan diet. Okay, so if you guys watch my videos, you know that I really credit bone broth for helping my digestive system and helping me recover from a vegan diet. So this one is chicken broth and I just have some, if the whole chicken is in there and then I have carrot, onion, garlic, and aromatic herbs, thyme, and basil and oregano just to give it a nice flavor so it is enjoyable to consume. And I usually have about two cups in the morning, an empty stomach, it's the first thing that I have and the reason why you want to drink it on an empty stomach is because the collagen will help repair any leaky gut situation you have going on as well as the L-glutamine, the amino acids, the nutrients that are in this bone broth um, and if you are consuming it with food it doesn't really give the same effect because the food will get in the way so in order for it to coat the stomach it's good to have it on an empty stomach and so that's why I have it every morning you can consume it throughout the day as well it's obviously still gonna have benefits but I find the most benefit from first thing in the morning or uh, right before bed at night that would be a good time as well and then about 20 minutes after I have the bone broth 
I had some dairy or uh, something like yogurt that is going to help give me some good bacteria back into my stomach after I just sealed it with the bone broth. So I have some blueberry Greek yogurt here. It is from pasture raised grass fed cows and it is A2 protein, not A1. A1 is more inflammatory than A2. And this one is blueberry, so it has some organic blueberries inside. I pretty much ate the whole thing. This yogurt is so delicious. Yogurt will help replenish your good bacteria in your microbiome. As long as, as well as all the nutrition that it has. Okay, so after the yogurt, I had some deviled eggs that I made along with some bacon. So I'll briefly show you guys how I made the, de the deviled eggs here. I just boiled the eggs, took the yolks out, mashed the yolks up with some sea salt and pepper, um, olive oil, mayo, a little bit of chipotle pepper powder, I like it with a little kick, some onion and garlic powder, horseradish, and Dijon mustard, and then I topped it with paprika, and I just used a ziplock here to pipe in the filling. And these are so good, this is a great snack, this is a great um, on-the-go item, it's great to food prep it. So I just put two containers in the fridge, but me and my boyfriend finished it in about two days. <laughs> and that's with us holding back so that I could actually film it. And then I had some salmon and some carrots that were roasted in butter, or sauteed in butter here. And today I worked out, so I ate quite a bit. The days that I work out, um, I definitely eat more which is normal, listen to your body and listen to your hunger signals so that you can fix your hunger signals because a lot of people are disassociated with their hunger signals and they don't know when they are actually hungry and when they're not. Lastly, I had a baked organic potato from the local farm that I get all my food from and some bacon as well as under that bacon, I have some raw organic pasture raised cheese and raw butter. A little bit of salt and pepper and that was my last meal. I prefer to eat a little bit more carbs at night because I noticed that it helps me sleep. So I started having a little bit of sleep problems when I was eating mostly carnivore. And when I increased my carbohydrate intake, I noticed that my sleep problems went away. So, I know that there is a carnivore on YouTube that has constant sleep issues, and maybe that is one of them who doesn't consume any carbohydrates. So that is definitely something to keep in mind and pay attention to. And that is it for today guys that is everything that i ate so thank you guys so much for watching remember that if you're interested in coaching the link is always in the description down below um, also if you don't have access to professional supplements and you would like access to them for us and canadian residents the links are always in the description as well as my socials if you would like to follow me on instagram as well so Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me in my healing from veganism endeavors. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy healing.